Um, I'm very thankful to have the chance to um learn with um to learn with all of you today. And also thank you for um Sister Sintin for inviting me. Um so I would like to share um the unexpected best decision that happens in my life. And actually it was it's that leads me to the to my vegan journey. And Actually, it was um the two two um two unexpected best decision that leads me to it. Um, before I start my sharing, may I know um who are already vegetarian here? If it's okay, um, can you comment um V, if you're already vegetarian, if it's okay. Okay, seems everyone is kind of shy. Oh, me. Um, comment or may comment B. Wow. Okay, comment me. Okay, seems there's a lot. We're already vegetarian. How about vegan? Um, may we comment one, if you're already vegan. Okay, so seems um there are a lot already vegetarian and um, maybe the vegan are shy. So haven't commented yet. So the first unexpected best decision that happened to me is actually I know Chu Chi before from the ITV. And then um and then I started joining Chu Chi when um it's kind of funny story because um it's like my mom tricked me <laughs> to join the Chuji youth camp um because before i was uh someone who's very shy and like i won't join anything if i don't have if i don't know anyone there and then um and then i feel very blessed because um the Chuji volunteers are really very um really very um sweet and very caring like they called me and then i joined the youth camp and it really changed my life which um when we know when we're in city there are a lot of sessions and camp and etc and um after joining the camp um i was open that oh there is some there's something called vegetarian and vegan um but but since I was grown in a meat eat, um heavy meat eater family, like when you live live in a heavy meat eater family, uh, you will feel like um if your meal, like if your lunch or any meal don't have meat, you will feel like oh it feels like it lacks something. You will feel like the meal is incomplete. So I know the that time, um it's twenty fourteen. I I I know that vegan and vegetarian is very good. Uh, there are a lot of <laughs> benefits, but um I did not consider it yet that time. And then um since twenty fourteen up to twenty nineteen, I consistently joined the camp and volunteer activities and many more. Um until twenty nineteen, the youth camp uh in Taiwan with the youth and then again there are a lot of sharing happened and then after the camp um we went to um travel with our chuchi youth friends and then on this second picture is the uh is the last dinner is so I unexpectedly my last dinner um that was uh that that was not me that was me actually after the camp we're thinking, oh, finally, maybe I'll go vegan vegetarian, but I still don't. I eat, I still eat meat that time, and then, and then suddenly, um, our my chuchi youth friend Kyle, he asked, like, have you ever thought of becoming a vegetarian one day? Um, actually, that time, um, I already met a lot of um volunteers and youth that was very inspiring. So, but I I can't decide that time. So I started um from um uh, one vegetarian per week, and then to two, and then to many more until I think that time I go vegetarian twenty days for a month, but still cannot decide, and then. When um brother Kyle asked me if I want to go vegetarian, that I said yes, but maybe when I'm old. <laughs> and then 
and then we had a lot of debate and then and then he also asked um isn't it hard like because like I cross out the calendar like every day I, I cross and count and then like how many meat, how many cheat days how many vegetarian days so like it feels like calculating every time and then and then he asked um have you ever feel like um during your cheat days you eat more meat and then I realized oh no yeah it's kind of like that and then it feels like I'm doing it but um but but it's not enough because like it's not what we like what's like the mission why we go vegetarian vegan is not like it's not really in line and then it's also feel like I'm very hard counting and counting and then we still have a lot of debate and then the one of um there's also a funny debate like um he said like why don't you just go vegetarian and then maybe when you're not yet ready you will give a lot of decision uh like excuses and say something just to avoid to make that decision even you know it's the right thing and then i i remember that i even shared uh uh okay it's kind of like secret but it's i think it's not really a secret anymore <laughs> like um cuz i asked my mom like um what is your what did you eat with father when in, in your first date? And then they said, um, it's beef steak. So I said, maybe when I meet the right one and then I have a date and eat beef steak first before I go vegetarian. And then and then it's it's really many useless excuses just not to go vegetarian. And then the debate uh, go and go and then and then we just realized that um life is impermanent cuz like cuz cuz we never know what will come first if it's um tomorrow or impermanent and then and then that time we're four of and then the guy in the middle of the picture he was actually vegetarian already um after he joined the the youth camp and then and then the and then Kyle is the one who is standing, and then the one with eyeglasses is my sister, and then the one wearing black is uh, his sister. And then after the debate, we said like, oh maybe we do <laughs> buy two take two. Like when me and my sister go vegetarian, he and her his sister will go vegetarian too. And then that night, um, unexpectedly, <laughs> four of us um became vegetarian, and. And then it became one of my best decisions. But after that, um, I really never imagined that I would go vegan one day. Because um, before I went vegetarian, my mom is actually uh, also a volunteer and she is very religious. She's actually the first one who wants to go vegetarian in our family. But that time, because I, I don't know, I'm not very aware of the benefits and like people can go vegetarian or vegan so that time i even argue with my mom because i think um doing good deeds is enough volunteering is enough why do we still need to um go vegetarian maybe it's not healthy or etc but like little did i know i would be the first who who went vegan in my family so um so like uh, when we first I was um lacto ovo vegetarian so this is actually what we eat as a lacto um ovo vegetarian and then after when you just went vegan you just cancel some stuffs and actually it's better for our health cuz um some people are lactose intolerant and some people have allergy in eggs so actually going vegan is actually a he healthier choice and then um, during that time also oh also many challenges that happened so i went vegetarian it's um when is that 2017 december 30 and then i went vegan is july 9 2019 like i'm thinking um maybe what else i can do because 
because a vegetarian is good but i'm thinking maybe i can do something more and also like i met so many people in chuchi that they can go vegan and then they they're happy and they're good and then i'm thinking maybe i can also but i'm i'm very <laughs> uh indecisive and thinking maybe waiting for the sign and then um because the date it's um seven nine <laughs> two zero one nine so in chinese it sounds like uh it feels like um like forever like i can it, it feels like uh good wishes for myself like i can do this um, be in, I can be in this vegan journey forever. So I think, and then that time my mom also had a thyroid cancer and then also many challenges that happened. And I know vegan is good, but I cannot, I cannot tell people to go vegan when I'm not vegan. So, so I, and so I started it from myself and also like, we're living in the same earth, so same home. So when something happens to our earth, something happens to our home, all of us will be affected. And we can only inspire and ask people to do it if we ourselves are doing it. Just like a Master Cheng Yin said, like only by first lighting up our heart can we inspire others to do the same. So on that day, <laughs> I decided to go vegan. And... And during the journey, um, during the journey, um, people will think, oh, maybe I will have a little food to eat. But actually, um, there are a lot of yummy vegan food. Um, even when you go outside, um, you can it can also train you um to talk to people. Cause um when you went vegan, you need to talk to the um the waiter or the people there to customize your food. Um, to make sure it's vegan, so it's a very fun experience, and also you can, um, play with the vegetables. Like um, before I just know limit vegetables, and I'm very picky of the food. And after I went vegan, I realized that there are a lot of um yummy vegetables, and I become more appreciative of the, um, the food, and also like um, this is the broccoli you can and okra you can play play with it and do some creative stuff and then it's also very fun to go vegan you can you just need to make your plate colorful um to make sure you have enough in uh enough nutrients and then so during the journey maybe sometimes you will have um some temptation maybe i remember um like i I love to share people. Uh, I love to share and ask people to try vegan and vegetarian food with me. And then I remember one time, I, I'm, um, how do you say that? I think maybe I'm craving for. I bought a vegan beef, and it's yummy. And then I'm sharing with a volunteer. And then that time, um, I did not realize that, that um while sharing how good the, the it tastes and maybe it it sparks some bad thought but thought and then i got a karma and then i burned myself this this one because um because that time i was cooking the oil um pops and then and then it reminds me of even um during our during volunteering or uh in a or in this vegan journey um it's just like this and this quote like weeds do not easily grow in a field planted with vegetables evil does not easily arise in a heart filled with goodness like um like in this volunteering journey or in this vegan journey uh, we might encounter many stuffs and may, maybe some um uh, challenges or things that will affect us or some desires that will affect us but we always fill our mind with wisdom and stuff it can help us cleanse our heart and our mind and then um in this journey um it's all since um being vegan and 
uh, after going vegan, I, re- I really um, enjoy and um, really feel the benefits. It, it really helped also my mental health because before I actually someone pessimistic, like something happens to me, I I always think the negative stops. And then after going vegan, it's also help me to become more strong because I always think like oh it's so because as a foodie and as someone who loves to eat meat before I'm thinking that I'm not eating meats it's so very hard so since I can do I cannot eat meat and I can do it so no more (laughs) difficult things can bring me down (laughs) yeah and then I also share my vegan journey through social media to let more people feel like um going vegan it doesn't limit our choices we can still have a lot of yummy foods to eat and it also can um care for our environment and also compassionate to animals and can still enjoy our life and then it won't also affect our um relationships because um because when we explain it to our friends we can always share to them oh how about would you like to try a challenge today go vegan with me or usually um our friends and family um they will also be curious maybe at first um family they will uh, not everyone will understand maybe they will think that um, it's not healthy enough or others, but when we take care of ourselves and let them see that we're good and everything is okay, um, as time goes, they will also understand. Um, just like this picture, um, in different perspective, we can see different things. And also like in this vegan journey, um, we might experience different stuffs. Or sometimes um, when we eat outside, maybe we we might, um, maybe the waiter or the uh, staff there, they might accidentally serve um, stuff that was not vegan or vegetarian. And maybe we'll feel guilty or sad. Um, but just like um, Master Deshu shared a while ago, um, we can forgive ourselves, repent, and not do it again. So after that, we will just forgive ourselves and continue in this vegan journey or in this veget in this vegan journey or in this vegetarian journey. Because as humans, um sometimes there are stuff that uncontrollable and it's okay as long as we're learning. And then um I also tried shared with my friends and I found out many people don't want to go vegan because they think it's too perfect. And that's also one of the reasons before I'm um I'm scared of going ve- vegan before because I'm thinking that it might be too perfect and af- and after I went ve- and after I went vegan I'm also not very confident to share with others that I went vegan because I'm thinking it it was too perfect but after in this journey I realized it's not really about being perfect it is just doing what you can do um, cause um in this vegan journey, it is not perfect. It's just a way to have the best wishes for everyone and everything as easy as starting the good deed from what you put in your mouth. And life is impermanent. Many things are unexpected. Just like having the chance to learn with all of you today. Um, maybe being part in this vegan journey will be your unexpected best decision too (laughs) or if ever all of us are already blessed being part in this vegan journey maybe this is a great sign to share this blessing to more um i truly hope that everyone were blessed with courage and wisdom um in this bodhisattva road and in this vegan journey road um (laughs) Thank you. Thank you so much, Sister Betty. It's great to see how, you know, you've joined this 
vegan movement that is uh, picking up momentum all over the world, especially among the younger people. So this is what actually gives me hope that, you know, things can change, you know, for the better as far as, you know, climate change is concerned because of this, you know, the younger people are catching on, whereas the older one, well, I'm glad I'm vegetarian, but uh, still haven't, you know, plucked up the guts to say, I want to go vegan yet. So we have a little bit of time and i like you to share with us what do you have for breakfast and how do you prepare your lunch and your dinner? Uh, you know, I'm sure you're busy, you have other commitments. So what do you do to make sure that you have enough nutrients? A lot of people are always worried, right? When you go vegan, do you get enough of protein? Uh, you know, are you eating healthily? You know, that sort of things. Yeah, if you can share with us, we have a bit of time. Okay. Um. So for the breakfast, I really love our Jingsu products, like the uh multi multi the ukufen multi multi grain powder. Yeah. yeah, the multi grain powder and many many more. Um, we just need hot water and mix it. It's and it's very easy. And also, um, the whole grain bread. Actually, um, actually, we just need to check the ingredients or research. And there are vegan bread options, like in the Philippines. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, like we can ch check. There are many options, and also, or if you like some, uh, xiao yimi zhou. Um, what is the yimi zhou? Yeah, uh, millet, millet. Power. Yeah, the millet. <laughs> yeah, there are so many options, and or the oatmeal. It's also good. And sometimes we may we may pair it with some fruits and um vegetable uh, fruits or if you're if you're very if you have more time in the morning you can also cook some vegetables or misoa. Um, oh, like you all cook misoa as well in the Philippines. Yeah, I love misoa, <laughs> and um, yeah, it really actually depends on the on the time we have, but mostly I just do the multi grain powder because it's faster. And for the lunch, um, um, I just mix different kind color of vegetables. And during my busy days, I actually I love eating noodles, so I just mix um different colors of vegetables and and put it in my noodles or. Um, I just make sure I have um like protein like um like tofu, um broccoli, kale, um spinach. They are rich in protein, calcium, and I have some fruits and a tomato. Um, just make sure for me the shortcut is uh, always make sure our uh food is like a rainbow, like as many color as possible. Don't just eat um like two colors, eat as many colors as possible. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I think, you know, that that is true. Um, uh, I, I have to profess that, I mean, you know, confess that I actually have got to learn to cook better. But at the end of the day is, you know, eat simple and good meals, like you say, multicolor. Uh, not only just a feast to the eyes, but also very, very healthy um, to the body. So I I can open the floor uh, for questions. Uh, anyone with questions for Sister Betty? I think everyone is pretty shy. And as you can see from the chat. Yes. Um, I just, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm first of all, uh, I, I don't cook and neither am I a vegan. So I, I'm just wondering, uh, from Sister Betty's experience, um, when, when you go on vegan, tell me how does it internalize you in terms of your cultivation? Um, you my question, um, like how. Go vegan, cultivate. I uh, cultivate me. Yeah. How how does it change you how, when you internalize that? How does it change you in terms of your spirituality? 
um in my sp in spiritual uh in in terms of spiritual <laughs> okay it makes my tongue <laughs> hard <laughs> in in terms of spirituality okay um it makes me more compassionate because at first i start going vegetarian because i think it's good for the environment um and for the earth and then after i went vegan i became more compassionate because i realized i realized that um like going vegetarian like we don't eat chicken right we don't eat chicken because um chicken will get hurt but after when you go vegan you will not just you you will understand that if we eat eggs um people need to people need to care for a chicken to have eggs and then it's it's like a, a long a very long very it feels like a very long um uh, how do you call that jomo um <laughs> sorry it it feels like a very Oh, sorry, my English. Torturous. English. Torturous. Torture. It it's like a very long torture for the for the life of a chicken, because and for them to for them to be with us and then and then to produce egg and then what if the chicken cannot produce egg anymore? What will their life end? And then for the cows, um, maybe we just think. Oh, we just get their milk, but um, for a cow to have milk, they need to be pregnant, and then, and then when we research, there are a lot, and then they actually, um, it was like it's kind of like the cow was being, like being kind of being raped just to have the milk and the milk we did not even give it to their baby cow but we get it from them and use it for our humans so um it's also a long term torture like like being vegetarian we, we care for our la for their lives but being vegan um we we don't just care for their lives but we also care um how like care for like we try to stand in their feet and how they they live and you will feel like um it's very hurtful to be in their position and we also um and when we apply it in our life not just the animals we also um become more compassionate with our um family and friends with we, we learn to more learn to know more how to stand in their point of view like sometimes before maybe when people do did something to you or say something to you maybe you will be very hurt um very quickly and then after you go vegan you will think oh maybe that person is experiencing something maybe he or she is having a big problem maybe he he or she doesn't really want to hurt you or say something bad to you but he or she is actually having a problem or something like um like something like that and it also make um make we make me make me become more self disciplined and many more but i also still got a lot of things to learn i still have uh, many bad habits but um for me going vegan it it's like a little sun in my life because um, it always reminds me that no matter how hard or how many problems I encounter, I can do it. Because um, for me, being vegan is not easy, but it's also the easiest thing we can do because we just choose what we put in our mouth. And it all every time I eat, it makes me become more mindful. And every time I eat, it reminds me Oh, I at least in this easiest thing I'm doing, I'm doing something good. Maybe um we cannot see it directly, but for the long term, for sure it will have an effect. Thank you, Kan En. Maybe um let me ask you another way. Mm -hmm. Um apart from eating, mm -hmm. when you are working, 
Mm -hmm. or when you're interacting with your friends, mm -hmm. how does it change the way you think? Um, change the way life? I think. Yes, Actually, if you don't how does it change the way you think other than eating? Other than eating. Um, actually, at first, um, when I went vegan, I'm very like, I think, oh, I found a very good stuff. I found a very good gift or very good solution. I want to share it to all of my friends and family. And then after that, I realized that we all have different journey. So maybe I'm very, very blessed that I can go vegan, but not everyone have a same life situation with me so we all have different challenges so we, we will try to become more understanding and toward my friends i think um, um in terms of the relationship it's still the same and then when we eat together um i think my friends are really very nice because <laughs> Every time I ask them to eat it out with me, I always said that, oh, let's you're eating with me. I oh, I do not I actually I don't ask them like go vegan with me. I I just said that, oh, would you like to try this dish and this dish? And then um and then I feel very blessed because they usually go eat vegan with me, yeah. And just let them uh feel that it's good but it, actually vegan is not just about foods it's also about what we wear um what we use like it's cruelty free not testing on animals so it makes me more conscious with the things i buy because before i just see oh i love to eat this oh i love to use this i love this clothes or love this love this and then buy 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 and then after i went vegan i'm i'm become more conscious um in spending and buying stuffs and then my friends uh since they know i'm vegan so when they give me stuffs they also become more aware they will ask like oh betty um is this vegan is this vegan um can 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 i give this to you they become more aware also so i think maybe it's just the matter of time um cuz um like for me it took I think 2014 to 2017. It took almost okay. And then is he on my I think it takes about three years, three years just for me to decide to go vegetarian, and about two years for me to decide go vegan. So I think it's just a matter of time. Maybe they have different journey. And yeah. <laughs> so you you, you oh, think, interestingly you mentioned about your relationship. You say your relationship is the same, right? So yeah, I think it's just the same. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I I assume when you say the same, uh, uh, does that mean all your relationships that you have they are also all vegan, or are they uh, they follow you uh, being vegan, or they're still you know the same as they were before? Um, some of them are meat eaters. Some of them are vegan. Some are vegetarian. Like, um, actually, I don't choose my friends based on what they eat. Um, but I always inspire them that there is a choice. Um, we can do, we can go vegan, and it's easy and fun, and it's the easiest thing to do something good. And actually, um, I have uh, actually one of. Maybe it's kind of hard because I actually I was engaged last year, and my fiance is actually a meat eater. <laughs> yeah, and maybe because I'm a challenger, <laughs> I'm a challenger. I love challenges. Maybe <laughs> so. Luckily, um, I love cooking. So no matter what I cook, he will eat. And then no matter and every time we go out, he respects me. Um. Because I'm vegan, so he will go to vegan restaurant or go to a meat eater restaurant, but will um eat vegan stuffs with me. Cause um I think it's fun. Cause people when I when people see you are happy doing what you love, and they see you you have a mission and you're really into it. Um, they will um 
they will be like Chicano, Huama. They will be also inspired. I mean, they will be happy to join you. Maybe when you're not with them, they might not eat. They might not um go vegan or vegetarian. But at least when they're with you, they're doing it. And I believe it is just a matter of time for them. Maybe one day they will also be inspired and do it I, also. I, 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 yeah. I, can, I can see they are, we are elated uh, uh, with your sharing. I think we, if, if I'm sitting with you, I'll probably go vegan too. Uh, yeah, you must try, your, your, <laughs> your, uh, your, your, your positive why is coming out uh, from you. And uh, so that's why I asked you the question about mm -hmm. relationship people you interact with. So, for example, your whole family, are they all vegan? Uh, no, actually me, my mom and my sister and me, three of us um, were vegan, but my brother and my father were not vegan. They're they're still they still they still eat meat but they respect us like sometimes they even at first um they may be like they don't understand why we do it but now they also cook vegan foods yeah okay so interestingly in that situation how do you be harmonious uh, with the family where you eat differently how do you uh, uphold that harmony in a family when you're so different in your diet. Um, so how do you do that? So at first, actually at first, I'm also not I also don't know how to handle it sometimes. At first I sometimes guilt trip them. <laughs> like I I it which is not, I'm not a good decision. Like before, because I don't know. So I sometimes guilt trip them like, oh, like let them feel vegan is the right thing to do. But then I understand that. It's not the good thing to guilt trip people. People will, the more you do that, the more they will push it away. So um, the best thing I learned um, with my experience is to respect their decision. Like if they want to do that, they want to eat that, they want to choose that, just respect them. And then um, let them feel what you're doing and let them, and then share your food and then um, try to learn some yummy recipes and share with them, and then, um, little by little, they will be they will also be interested and curious about it. Just like don't like straightforward, <laughs> too much straightforward. They will, they will, they will, um, they will chill themselves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I I I totally understand that, and I think um some families struggle. <laughs> Right, mm. then vegetarian or vegan, and then the rest of them don't. All right, Canon, so much, Sister Batty, for the very enlightening um, sharing and your journey. Thank you so much. Thank you, Canon. Canon, Sister Batty. I think you know the lesson about this is you know when your your heart open up, you know compassion pours out like you know opening a floodgate, and life can be so much simpler when you have love for others. So, you know, you really practice the five R. Refuse, reduce, reuse, repair, and recycle. Thank you so much, Sister Betty.